Hey guys and welcome to my channel. In today's video I'll be showing you how hackers are able to bypass login pages and even login to admin usernames using tools such as Hydra and Burp Suite. This attack is known as the wordless attack in which we use Hydra to crack any password for any login page we want. Your support means a lot to me. So if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. Let's dive into the video. So for this video, I'll be using Kali Linux as usual, which is an operating system that can be used for hacking purposes. Also, we are going to use a tool called Hydra and it comes pre-installed with Kali Linux. Hydra can be used to brute force any type of service you can think of. So we can use it to brute force services such as FTP, SSH, captive portals, and anything that has a login page really. And we also need a word list file that has the most common passwords. And you can either download a pre-made word list or you can generate a word list yourself using other tools such as Crunch. Another tool we'll be using is called Burp Suite, which we will be using to intercept HTTP and HTTPS requests and responses between the browser and the target web application. So let's see how this can be done. Let's suppose that we are interested in gaining access to this login page. And by the way, this is my own login page and I created it specifically for this video tutorial. But regardless of the tools that we'll be using today, can be used on real websites that you have permissions on, of course. And I will assume that we don't know the correct username and password for this login page. And we are trying to log in to the admin user by brute forcing the password using Hydra. So to use Hydra, I will open a terminal window. I mean, larger than this and simply type in Hydra in here. And if you are not familiar with the tool, you can also do dash help at the end to see how to use this tool and the available services it provides. And if we go up, you can see that it tells us the exact syntax it needs, the different options we could use, and we got some examples at the end here as well. So in my case, for this video, I'll use it to attack a login page. So let me clear the screen and let's start building the command for this web page. So I will do Hydra again followed by the domain name or the IP address of the web application. In my case, my domain name is called methum.login.com. So I will copy that and paste it in here. Let me remove the slashes and the HTTP as well. So the domain name would look something like this. Next, I will do dash L to specify the login username that we want to use. If you want to use multiple usernames, and by that I mean the username that we want to put in this field, the username field. So in case you want multiple usernames, you can do that by using uppercase L instead of lowercase. And then give it a file name that contains all of the usernames that you want to use. In my case, I only want to use a single username, which is admin. So I will use the lowercase l and followed by the name which is admin. Next I will do dash uppercase p to specify the word list. This word list file contains all of the most common passwords used on the internet and mine is located in home and the file name is called wordlist.txt. Then we need to give it the type of service and the method the web application is using. And we can find this info by right clicking either the password field or the username field. Hit inspect. And I can see that in my case, the form is using a post method in here. And by the way, you can also search for the word form in the search bar in here, in case you couldn't find it on the page yourself. So now we know the page is using a post method and it's running on HTTP and not HTTPS because we can see that the connection is not secure, which indicates that it's using an HTTP. Also, when we copy pasted the domain name, we see that it's using an HTTP in here. So let's go back to the terminal and in here I will do HTTP dash post dash form. And to see how we can use the correct syntax for this exact form, we can use Hydra to tell us what to do. So let me open a new terminal in here and I will do Hydra once again, dash capital U, 
dash uppercase u followed by the module name that I want to know more information about, which is http dash post dash form. Hit enter. And here we have the examples that we can use. As you can see, they are very good examples that we can customize and build on. And I will actually copy the first example and I will paste it in our command in here. So what is happening here is that we are giving it the location where we want Hydra to brute force the password from. So this is the location of the web application forward slash login.php. And then we are giving it the username and password parameters, which are user and pass. These parameters has to be the same exact wording that the web application is using. And to make sure that we are using the correct parameters, we can use Burp Suite for that. So I will open Burp Suite from the application menu. Let me close this first and let's go to applications, type in Burp Suite. Here we have it. And don't worry if you are not familiar with Burp Suite, it's a huge tool that I will try to make more videos on. But for now, I will include some links down in the description to help you set it up and learn what it's capable of. I will use the Burp defaults and start it. Let me bring this here. Perfect. So once you have Burp Suite running and Burp Suite proxy is set up correctly, let's go to the proxy tab and click on intercept. And in here, let's turn on the interceptor. So click on it to turn it on. And from the login page, I will input a random username and password for testing purposes. So I will do admin for the password. I'll do password once again. Hit login. And as you can see from the burp suite window, I have intercepted this login request, which is using a post method running on login.php. Again, this is the location of the web page that is processing the login feature, and it's using the HTTP service. Most importantly, we are able to see the username and password parameters as they are used by the web application. And these are the parameters I'm talking about. So let's go back to the command prompt and I will actually put it on the left side in here. Now let's compare the wording that we are using in this command compared to the web application. So the location of the web page is correct. It's forward slash login.php as you see in here, but we can see that the user and pass is different from the web page. So we need to change these two parameters because we're using username and password instead of user and pass. So let's change that from pass to password and from user to username. And by the way, in some login pages, they include extra characters after the username and password parameters. So for example, it might say something like and login.php.submit.button equals one. This is just an example. So if you, if you see something like this or other characters after the password, you would need to include this part as well in the actual command in here. So if you phased something exactly like this, which is behind the password parameter, you would put it behind the password parameter in here. So it would be something like this and continue the sentence. You get the idea. Let me delete this since we don't need it. So basically you would put it after the up arrow. And once you have corrected the parameters as you have seen it from Burp Suite, the last thing that we need to modify is this part. This is where we tell Hydra whether the login was successful or not. And we do that by specifying words that shows up once we have either a failed login or a successful login. For me, I will tell it what the words exactly are on the page when there is a failed login. So the character for that is uppercase F, or you can do capital S to tell it what shows up in case of a successful login. Again, I'll do uppercase F since I want to tell it what happens in case of a failed login. So let's see. So, so let me actually forward the request from Burp Suite to see what is the actual word when we have a failed login. So let me click on forward in here and we can see that the login was unsuccessful and the message I got is login failed. Please try again. So in the command in here, I will simply tell it to look for the phrase login failed. And that's it, the command is now complete and it's ready for us to run. So let's go through the command one more time really quickly. Again, we are using Hydra, which is the tool name and we are giving it the domain name of the web application that we want to run this attack on. Also, we're doing dash L 
it will tell it the username that we want to use and dash p tell it the wordless file that we want to use then we are specifying the form method that is being used by the web application and it's using a post method running on http finally we are giving it the exact location in which the login page is running on which is login.php also we are giving it the username and password parameters exactly like it was from the web application and finally we are telling it what to look for in case there is a failed login which in this case the sentence is login failed so let's hit enter to run this command let's give it some time to run now depending on how large your wordless file is this could take a very very long time but in my case i'm using a small word list and perfect as you can see we managed to get the correct username and password combination for the admin user so let's actually confirm this by trying to log in using the password that we just got from Hydra. Let me turn off the interceptor from Burp Suite and let's go back to login. And once again, the username is admin and the password is admin as well. And that's the one we got from Hydra. Let's hit on login. And awesome, we are now logged in as the admin user. Now, if this was a real website, we would be able to basically control the whole web application from this page since we are logged in as the admin user, which has all of the available privileges. We can also embed malicious software inside this website. It could be adware, it could be a virus that is designed to run on the client browser and then install a backdoor from there and so on. So basically this wordless attack works on any web application that has a login page regardless if it was vulnerable for xss sql injections or even cryptography attacks now the most effective ways to protect from these types of wordless attacks is to implement an account lockout mechanism install a captcha on the web application and enable two-factor authentication on the user account this will significantly enhance the security of the login page and most likely will make the wordless attack useless even though this attack is dangerous and effective at the same time, we can secure ourselves from these types of attacks by implementing the security procedures and features that I have discussed at the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.